Hello, in this video I will cover four basic rules of derivatives, power, product, quotient, and chain rules. And if I have time, I'll cover some special cases as well. Power rule is a very important rule and it's being used almost all the time. Before I start from, I just wanted to point out the derivative of constant equals to zero. It's basically, basic idea is uh, it's straight line that has no slope, therefore slope of this would be zero. Okay, now let's pick a function. Let's call f of x equals to 3x to 4th power. Now, I'm going to call it f prime of x, which is derivative f prime of x equals, n is going to be 4 as we established over here, so 4 times 3 then we have x raised to n minus 1 power, therefore 4 minus 1 and which is equal to 12x cubed this is just basic uh, example of how you perform power rule you just use a simple equation and derive it one more thing I want to add is from now on, I will assume that you know power rule and use it uh, in other derivations and stuff. So familiarize yourself before I actually go further. Product rule. This might be a little more complicated to understand. But what this product rule means, if you have two functions multiplied by each other, then derivative of two functions would be derivative of the first one times the second plus the first one times derivative of the second. So product basically implies multiplication of two functions. But now, let's say take two functions. One, f of x equals to x cubed plus 2x squared. And g of x equals to 5x squared plus 2x. So now, let's say we want to find uh, derivative, so d, dx, of a function x cubed plus 2x squared times 5x squared plus 2x. Okay, so technically you can just cross multiply, foil it, and then perform power rule on each individual function. But instead, I'm just going to perform product rules so I can show you how it actually works. So let's look at our equation. So d dx will be equal to our uh, derivative of first one. So once again, we have to perform um, product power rule for both of these functions. So derivative of first one will be 3 x squared plus 4x. You just should review and see like how I actually did uh, power rule here. Times the uh, second one. So 5x squared plus 2x. Then we add first one, so we just copy it again, x cubed plus 2x squared times derivative of second. So derivative of second is going to be, once again, power rule, 10x plus 2. And this is basically your answer. Of course, you can go and simplify it, but for our purposes of product rule, you can just leave it like that, and this would be your Okay, quotient rule. First of all, quotient rule, you just divide one function by another, and then it's very similar to product rule except here you have to subtract and then overall you divide this whole function by gx squared uh, but to save some time I'm just basically gonna use the same functions as we use for product rule which are gonna be here so okay d dx it's gonna be very similar so once again we have derivative of the first one times the second so derivative of the first one is 3x squared plus 4x, right? Times the second, which is 
5x squared plus 2x. Then you have to subtract. And this is going to be the same exact thing as we had before, except we just have first one times the second. You the only difference is we have a minus sign here. So we'll just call this function, I don't know, c. It's going to call it c. You can just look at previously. It's going to be exactly the same thing. And then all we have to do, we just have to divide this thing by g of x squared. So g of x is going to be 5x squared plus 2x. Then you take it in parentheses and squared. This is our quotient rule, and this is how it's used. It's useful to know quotient rule, but to be honest, I almost never use that. Because there's a trick that you can always make it a product rule. So for example, uh, if you have x cubed plus 2x squared divided by 5x squared plus 2x, this is same as x cubed plus 2x squared times 5x squared plus 2x raised to negative 1. This becomes a little more complicated where you actually have to use a chain rule. But um, in most cases, and a lot of people actually use this instead of quotient rule. But first, I'm going to have to cover my actual chain rule before you can understand how it works. And also, I forgot to put parentheses here. Chain rule. It's basically a function within function. And how it works, you would take derivative of outer, inner, plugged, and times derivative of inner. I'll explain it more in a second. Okay, let's take, take a couple functions. So f of x equals to x cubed. And g of x equals to, let's call it x squared plus 2. Just to make it simple. Uh, so f of g of x, uh, it's small g, but yeah, equals to g of x cubed, basically. So we have x squared plus 2 cubed. So this is what it means to be function to be within the function. G of x is within f. So now let's take derivative of this function. So d dx equals to derivative of outer inner plus. So outer is x cubed. So derivative of this would be 3. Then I'll put parentheses here. So it's squared because 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 squared. And inner plug. So we plug in inner and g of x is the inner, so we just copy x squared plus 2 times derivative of uh, inner. So derivative of inner would just be 2x. And this is our chain rule. I put up some of mostly used unique cases in both basic rule form and chain rule form. So you can see it a lot clearer. So derivative of e to x is e to x. Let's see how it works in chain rule. So e to x is outer, inner is 5 of x. So if you take the derivative of this, it's going to be once again, um, outer, derivative of outer, which is e to x, inner plugged, is x changes to 5 of five x, times derivative of inner, which is 5. Then let's go back, let's go, let's go to cos, uh, sine and cosine. Derivative of sine equals just cosine. If I give you sine of 5x squared, once again, it's going to be derivative of outer, which is cosine inner plugged, times the derivative of inner. Then same thing goes to uh, derivative of cosine, it becomes negative sine. Once again, uh, you follow chain rule here, it becomes very clear that you can just follow previous example. Um, then there's natural log. Derivative of natural log would be 1 over x. Sometimes it's actually pretty confusing. But let's look at chain rule example. So derivative of ln 5x squared is going to be 1 over x, but inner plug. So you plug in 5x squared times derivative of inner, which is 10x. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for now.